Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am standing in my treasure house, which is located in Edwardsville, Illinois. It's owned by Cindy and Bill, and this is where I have one of my antique booths, Green Onion Vintage. This is my primary location, but it's also where I purchase all of my Iron Orchid design products that you guys see me use in my DIY projects all the time online. Um, so Cindy has offered to ship those products to you you guys have been taking advantage of that and we've been so happy with all of your support of our small business. So Cindy has been shipping and packaging and doing all the work that it takes to get you guys some Iron Orchid Design products and it's been working out really well so far. So today I'm going to go through and show you the Iron Orchid Design display that Cindy has and then just kind of pick out some of my favorite things and let you guys see the prices. If you want to purchase Iron Orchid Designs from Cindy, she will ship anywhere in the United States. All you have to do is um, go down to the description box. You can find the link to the My Treasure House Facebook page. And then you're going to private message Cindy through Facebook. Right now, that is the best way that we figured out how to do it. Um, Cindy is working on a Shopify website, which will make ordering super easy for you guys. But in the meantime, the best way to order Iron Orchid Design from Cindy is just to private message her on Facebook through the My Treasure House Facebook page. That's been working out pretty well. She will email you an invoice to pay through Square. Um, so everything's very confidential and it's a safe way to pay. And then as soon as she gets your payment, she ships very quickly. Um, I know she's just finishing up an estate sale. So I think once she wraps all that up, she'll be able to focus a little bit more on orders for this video. And you can feel free to ask if she has anything else in stock that I don't feature t in today's video. Let me take you around and show you all the Iron Orchid Design stuff that I really like to use and that Cindy is selling right now. So Cindy is a full Iron Orchid Design retailer. She does carry everything that at least I know of. Um, so up on the wall here, she has all of the new flat transfers. So these are booklets of transfers that you can apply. You basically cut the transfer out that you want to use. You put it on any of your projects and then you just rub the image off of the sheet and onto your project. And it basically looks like a hand painted image once it's transferred all the way. And then you can just clear coat over it and it'll be nice and durable. So I've used these a lot in my videos in the past. Um, and Iron Orchid Designs is, is making new designs for these all the time. Um, I, I, I believe every season they have like a new set come out. So the booklets are pretty new. And it looks like Cindy is carrying all of the ones that I'm aware of. So let me just show you which one is my favorite right now. I've used this one several times in my videos. Um, and they always come out really nice. So this set is $42. And it comes with all of these sheets. So you're going to get eight sheets of these images. They're not reusable. They are one-time use. Once you rub them onto your project, then they're done. Um, so I've used these on a rolling pin before that I've shared with you guys. And then I did like these little flowers on the bottom of a chest of drawers that I sold here in the shop. And I still have so many like leaves and other florals to use on other projects. So I know that they sound pricey, but I always make my transfers last for many projects. And they give a hand-painted look that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise, and they look really nice in the end. So I think the cost is worth it, especially as a reseller. This one has been really popular, I know. Um, oh, the lemons is ones that I've used quite a bit also. Let me share. They're all priced differently. So this one is 32 and you get four sheets of these assorted lemons with the greenery. Really, really pretty. I think I've done these on a rolling pin also and on a bread box and that came out really nice. You can rub these onto things that have been painted or even um, unfinished wood or finished wood. I've done that also. I think when I did the lemon rolling pin it was on just a wood rolling pin with the lemons right on top and that looked really pretty. It was a good combination for sure. Um, this is a newer one. I do believe the English school and this one's 42. So you get eight sheets of just a repeating pattern. But I mean, the possibilities are endless for this one. I love just a very classic design, uh, very traditional. But you would get all of that intricate detail 
just by rubbing it on to your project. So like I said, that one's 42. Um, this one's a really pretty floral one. I'll show you this one. So $32 for Midnight Garden. I should be telling you the names. I'm so sorry. So this is a colored image four sheets. And like I said, you can really cut these up to use them however you'd like. So just because there's four sheets, that doesn't mean you're going to get, you know, four projects or even one project out of these. You can really make them last a long time. That one was 32. Did I say that? Midnight Garden. So I really like this one. And then another one that I purchased, and I haven't really used this a ton yet, but I want to. Um, this one's the Traditional Pots. So it's similar to um, a stamp that's really popular. I'm blanking on what that one's called. Um, but you get these four sheets here. Oh, the crockery stamps that are so popular. So these are pretty much the same, but these are transfers instead. So this is like a navy inked set. These ones are white ink or white paint. And then these two sheets will be black. So these are really fun. You get all that intricate detail of the font. Sorry that there's a reflection. But that would be really difficult to achieve without a transfer and this sheet is $32. So this is a really cool one. Look at they're putting theirs on jars and planters. So that one's called the traditional pots. You get four sheets. And then another one that I see really popular right now, I think this is one of their newer ones, is the entomology, etc. And you get four sheets of fish and butterflies and birds and it just has the perfect vintage color scheme so i'm a big fan of this sheet i haven't got it yet but i want to it's on my wish list so here's some of the ways they use them and this one is 32 dollars you can get four sheets Um, and then a kind of similar one. This one has more birds, though. This one's called Bro uh, Bro Can't. Why don't I know how to say that? And there's the title. Um, you get eight sheets with this one. How do you say that? Bro Can't. Bro Can't. Eight full sheets of lavish elements to mix and match at will. So this one is really cool. Traditional images. Sorry, I'm so shaky. There's a clock on that. That's pretty cool. I mean, really, really intricate. Oh, Eiffel Tower, that's neat. So this one is perfect for those of you who like French country style. Um, it's very vintage -y. I like all the script. And here's kind of how they've used some of them. I love the idea of like just making some simple artwork. Oh, sorry, this one is 42. And you get eight sheets, so that's quite a bit of images there to play with. So you can kind of get an idea of the price range. Seems like they're either 32 or 42 or somewhere in between. Um, and I'll just go through really quick and give you all the names of them. So Winter Song Wreath, Four Sheets. Oh, why are they Redite? Why are they all in French? And this is Redite 2, so there must be a 1 somewhere. Uh, lemon Drops. Floral Anthology. That one's pretty. The English Tool. Oh gosh. Excuse me. Astoria is black and white flowers. Um, and there you get four sheets in that one. We have the Painterly Florals, which was the Sunflower one I showed you earlier. This is a transfer exploration. <clears throat> Excuse me. June Ode to Henry Fletcher. Different type of floral. Apparently got some little cherubs in that one also. Midnight Garden. Uh, 
wander, wallflower. This one is called ladies in waiting. Oh gosh, flora, para, <laughs> parishionist. <laughs> Uh, I swear I'm a really good reader and speller, but these are killing me tonight. Can I blame it on COVID? That's a COVID symptom that I can't read anymore. Brocant. Brocante. Traditional pots. I can't even Google it because I forgot my phone. So I'm just having to go off my public education and it's, it's failing me right now. I did not take French. Entomology, etc. And then... Cindy had these all marked 40% off. I do believe she's still doing that price for these tubed ones. So these are also transfers, but they don't make them in the tubes anymore because they're kind of a pain. The booklets are the newer models. So she still has some of these at same market and the black and white florals. This uh, Japonica one. So Japanese inspired. <clears throat> the farmer's market one. Um, Le Petit Rosier. So this is another black and white rose one. Oh no, it's this, this is the font. The font is what the transfer looks like. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's 24 by 33 inches. Um, so these are all like that same price range of $32, but then they would be 40% off because these are the older ones that we're trying to get rid of. So this is a white transfer, looks just like this. Sorry. Oh goodness. There we go, sorry. So it has just some script and the lions. And then this one says, be thou my vision, it has some of the lyrics there. So just double check with Cindy if you want to order those and she'll be able to tell you what's left and confirm that they're still 40% off, which I'm pretty sure. Um, that's all the transfers. Cindy's also selling the paint inlays. I have not used these yet, so I can't say much about them. My understanding is that they are reusable and they're sheets similar to the transfers, but they're actual paint that will set into your painted project. So I do believe they have to be used on something that is painted and the paint is wet. And then you lay this down and the paint from this sheet will transfer, but you can use it repeatedly. Not forever, but a few times. So the blue indigo floral, you get eight sheets <clears throat> for $52. So they just look like this. And then the rose chintz. Why? I'm gonna message the ladies that aren't orchid designs that their their names are killing me. Sounds really pretty. You get eight sheets also. Also fifty-two dollars. And then uh oh. And then this one. Oh my, like seriously, the names are killing me. Um, anyway, there's this third one, which I really like the taupey gray colors of in this one. So I, I would lean towards this one to start with. And you get eight sheets also for $52. Um, now it looks like she has one of these stamp sets left from Christmas time. This is from this year, the Merry and Bright stamps. She has it on sale for 16. That's a really great price because it was $24. So these are really cool. I use them in my videos for Christmas time. And obviously the stamps are removable. They're individual. So like this and this, they're not attached. So you can mix and match them. And that's kind of uh, the case for all of the stamps is that you can really mix and match and do with them what you please. So that one looks like there's one left for $16 if you want to grab that. It's the Merry and Bright set.
Okay, and I'm starting to lose my voice, so I'm going to just show you my favorite stamps and some of the um, molds that are my favorite, and then I will let you guys go, and you can get to messaging Cindy or asking me any questions down in the comments if you just have questions about how to use them. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to go through some of my favorites. This one's called Farmhand. It's a font. You only get the uppercase. It does not have lowercase, but it has a nice farmhouse look to it. Um, this one's $25. Um, I also use this one in my videos, I think. I have this one, the swoosh font. Maybe I don't. I want this one. If I don't have it, I'll have to double check. That's so silly that I don't even know. But you can kind of play with, place them next to each other and make some cursive words. $39.99 for this one. You get just the lowercase letters with this one. Two sheets of stamps. And then I definitely have this one that I use a lot. It's the typesetting stamp. I like this one because it's nice and classic and vintage-y and it works on basically every single project. And this one comes with the uppercase and lowercase and numbers. So I think this is a really good buy. And it is $38.99. But you get, like I said, all those letters and the numbers. So that one's a really good one to have on hand if you are considering getting a font stamp. Um, moving on to the next one. It looks like she has one more of the farm hand or the farm animals. And I am, I might grab this one. I don't know guys, you might have to beat me to it because I like this one, especially for spring to have that bunny and the chickens, of course, and the sheep. I mean, come on, that's great. Maybe I, mm, I might have to ask Cindy about that one. Maybe I'll put one on hold for me for the next order. Um, this one's cool. I have not used this yet, but it's a little bit newer. It's called block type. Oh, I'm so sorry. Farmhand, $26.99. Anyway, back to this one. Block type. So it has all these kind of like uh, combining words. So in and two, four. So it'd be fun for sign making. Um, and this one's $24.99. So here's a little shot of everything. Sorry if I'm going too fast for you. I'm just trying not to let this take up your entire day. Um, this peacock one is an older one that's retiring. Um, it's right now $40, but I think if you message Cindy, she might tell you that it's on sale. Um, so it looks like this, but obviously you can combine it into any peacock that you want it to look like, but you get all the individual feathers and everything too. So that's a neat one. Um, trying to think of other ones that I have. Oh, okay. Super popular one that you guys are probably going to snatch up with this video. The crockery stamps. I did not realize she had so many of these. And that is great news because they were sold out for a long time. So it looks like she has six of these right now. So these are the crockery stamps. If you've been watching DIYers on YouTube, you have seen these being, being used often. These are some of my favorite too because they just add a really nice vintage charm to anything that you can think of. So these are only $24.99. You just get the one sheet. There's some like ideas for you. So that's a really awesome one that I think you're going to want to snatch up. This is a cool one. I do not have this one yet, but I would like to try this one. It's the uh, branches and vines. You just get this one sheet of tree branches, but possibilities are endless with that style. $24.99. So you can kind of see there, you can build a tree. I think that would be fun to play with. Um, and while I'm over here, this is one of their molds and it's called Harper. And this is one I use all the time on my channel. So if you've been wondering which one that is, um, this is the one. It also looks like a typewriter font comes with the numbers and just the lowercase letters so no uppercase here um, but I've used this one a ton and it's one of my favorite ones that I have and I just see one right now oh no I see five right now did I tell you how much it is $19.99 that's kind of what it looks like there and before I go into the other molds Cindy does normally have the air dry clay in stock so if she doesn't, when she messages you, oh, no, wait, I think it's over here. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So she has a few on hand and she can easily order more of that. So 
Um, if you also need like the other products to do the stamps with or the molds, she has everything. She has the ink here, $14.99 per bottle. And then you just use that with these little ink pads. This is a blank one that you fill up using these inks. And she has the turmeric yellow, oceans deep blue, tomato red, stone gray, new grass green, china blue, black, charcoal, and white. I have actually not used this. I have the black, I have the little ink pad, I have to put it together still. She also has the erasable liquid chalk so you can stamp this onto something and then it would be removable, which would be kind of nice if you actually have a chalkboard that you'd like to change up for the season. And then the air dry clay. Um, it looks like a few more of the older transfers here. Okay, and let me get back over here to showing you. Let's see, this one looks fun. I have not done this one yet, but this would be fun for spring and summer. It's called Franz. And this one is $24.99. So that's a cool one. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, here's a favorite of mine. This is one of their newer ones. Uh, it's called Sprigs, and so it just has an assortment of these little stems and wildflowers. I just love how dainty and intricate they are. This is definitely one of my favorite sets. Um, and this one is, I'm guessing $24.99. $26.99 for the, for the Sprigs, and she has four of those so far. She's able to order more, so don't let the numbers freak you out too much. I just know that the crockery stamps, they were out for a while, and so that can definitely happen. So if you do really want one of these, I would jump on it. Um, I have this stamp set, too, that I've used a lot. This is a Sunflowers one. It's called Sunflowers. It has two sheets. So one sheet has... Um, uh, like medium sized blooms with medium sized leaves and then the other sheet has a really large bloom and a stem and then you can kind of mix the leaves up it's a really beautiful one and I used it in a video where I painted in the petals when I was done stamping it and it turned out really pretty so that's a really good one to have it is $39.99 because of the size of it this is another really good one to have. I own this one also. It's called Wreath Builder Classic. So this is an older one. It's been around for a while, but it's so good. You just use the little quarter sections of the wreaths and then um, use it four times to make a full wreath circle. Different styles of leaves here. It's great to have around for Christmas time, but also spring, just depending on what colors you use. So this is a really good one to have and it's also $24.99. Scooching over here, if you don't want to do sunflower stamps, they also have the sunflower molds. I don't think I have this one, but I really would love to have this. It's $19.99. Um, I don't have that one, but I do have a different floral one that I use a lot. Which one is it? Hmm, I'm not seeing the one that I normally use for flowers. I, I guess that one might be out for now. There are other ones though that are florals, like this one looks nice. This one's called Heirloom Roses. So you get the rose shapes, the floral, or the leaves, sorry, and the stems. Uh, I'll just pull out a few of these. This one's roses, the other one was Heirloom Roses. So similar, you get the rose shapes and the leaves and the stems. It's nice to have a few different ones so you can really mix them up. This one is called Wings and feathers. I don't think I've looked at this one before. You get the wings, you get the feathers. Sorry, I haven't been doing prices. So this one's $19.99. And the roses one here is $21.99. I always like to look on the back though and see the picture that they show. I feel like um, I've seen people do these where you just do a huge uh, collection of like roses along the side of a mirror or a piece of furniture. And when you do a whole bunch all together, it just looks really, really expensive and pretty. Um, I feel like I don't see the one that I normally use. If you want another font option, I almost bought this one. Um, but then I found the typewriter one I liked a little bit more. But this one's called Victoria and it's all the capital letters. 
but they look a little bit more Grecian, I would say. They have like some antiquing to them, so they're not perfectly smooth. You see what I mean here, like in this picture. So, I mean, I think they're really pretty. I just thought the typewriter ones were a little bit more my style, but this is an option if you'd prefer to have the capital letters. It's called Victoria, and it is $19.99. <clears throat> And then there's a couple of these that I have been thinking about. So this one is called back plates. And I've seen people use these to put like behind the knobs or handles when they're doing a piece of furniture. And I really think it's pretty. So I'm thinking that this might be on my wish list also. Um, $24.99 for this one. And it looks like these ones are 20% off. So uh, just because they're an older style. That might mean that she's not going to get any more in. I'm not sure. Um, but there's four right here. And then this is one I'm also thinking about because I want to do this on my wall. I, it kind of looks like the like very popular cement tiles right now. It's called Cubano. And it's $24.99. But you could actually use this to stamp your floor. But I actually want to do an accent wall similar to that. So I'm thinking about getting that one also. Um, but I think that's going to be all of the ones that I shared with you today. There are a few more in here, but I, I feel like I got most of them. So I will have all the information down below in the description box if you want to order something today. Cindy is really responsive on Facebook, but if you don't hear back immediately, just give her a chance to catch up on messages because last time you guys uh, did a really great job reaching out and it was really exciting for her, but it can get really overwhelming to ship everything like that. So um, just give Cindy your order. And I'm sure she'll get back to you pretty soon. And you guys can start crafting with your own Iron Orchid design stuff. It's so much fun to work with. The quality is amazing. And I just appreciate you spending some time with me today. Let me know which one is your favorite down below if you've already ordered before. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.